Hello and welcome to the last part of a Super NES controller modeling course. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do a very basic EV render. But before we start, these are the HDRI and PBR maps that I have used. If you want to use the same, they are the Fireplace HDRI from polyhaven.com and Wood26 PBR map from ambientcg.com. They're both free to download. Let's create a table for the scene. Press Shift plus A, create a mesh plane and change the size to 1 meter. Go to Shading Workspace. With the table mesh selected, go to Material, click on New to create a new material and rename it. Now let's start adding some nodes in the shader editor. We're going to use four nodes here. Press Shift plus A, go to Vector and add a normal map node. Press Shift plus A, go to Texture and add an image texture node. Press Shift plus A, go to Vector and add a mapping node. And press Shift plus A, go to Input and add a texture coordinate node. Connect the texture coordinate UV to mapping vector and change mapping scale to 10. This will make the texture repeat 10 times along UV coordinate. Connect mapping vector to image texture vector so the image texture can use its calculations. Click open and select the color map from the PBR map folder. With Ctrl plus Shift plus D, duplicate the image texture node two times. Open the roughness map on the second one, the normal GL map on the third one, and set both color spaces to non-color. Connect the color map to the principal shader's base color. Connect the roughness map to the principal shader's roughness. Connect the normal map to the normal map node, and the normal map node to the principal shader's normal. Go back to layer workspace. Rename the mesh and activate Render Mode on Viewport Shading. Go to Word, click this yellow dot next to Color and select Environment Texture. Click on Open and load the HDRI you've just downloaded. Go to Render Properties and enable Jitter Shadow and Ray Tracing. Now let's create a light source. Press Shift plus A, go to Light and select Area. Here I'm trying to mimic a TV light source. Set Y location to 500 mm Z location to 200 mm and X rotation to minus 90 degrees. Go to Object Data and set Hue and Saturation values to 0.5 to make it blue. Change size to 300 mm and enable Jitter on Shadow. I have noticed this makes the light not go in around objects. Light in some areas that are supposed to be dark. Now let's create a camera. Press Shift plus A, select Camera and press Numpad 0 to go to Camera View. On the sidebar view tab, enable camera to view. This way, you can control the camera position with the mouse. What I like to do here is to select the object I want in the shot while still on camera view and press numpad dot to zoom on it. Now all you have to do is to find the camera angle that you like for the final render. And for the final touch, let's add some depth of field. Enable depth of field and set focus distance and f-stop values. These values will depend on how you set up the scene, the distance from the camera to the object, and the amount of blur you want in the scene. Now press F12 and congratulations! You have just completed this full Blender course. You have created a Super NES controller from scratch, from modeling to final render. If you watched the whole course, I really want to thank you for spending your time with me learning some basic Blender. I hope you have enjoyed as much as I have making it. So please, consider subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, and leave a comment. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye bye.